Hello folks, my name is Mark, welcome to my channel, and today we're going to be looking at this uh, ND filter. It's an ND 100,000, it says, 67 millimeter ice optical glass filter. Now, so this is a 16 and a half stop ND filter. It's very dark. And we're going to open it up and take a look at it. If I can figure out how to open it. Now this was the... Uh, this was the least expensive uh, ND filter of this, this uh, darkness that I could find. And it was about $34, $35 at uh, B&H Photo online. So it's very dark. And you might ask yourself, Mark, why would you need such a dark filter and i'm not a filter guy i'm not i'm i'm just a camera noob i hardly have any filters at all uh i use these it's a uv filter just the least expensive ones i could find and i put them on uh basically all of my lenses all of my uh sony lenses that i have or tamron lenses uh, I use this UV filter just as protection to uh, keep that front element just a tiny bit safer. And so why would I want an ND filter that is so dark? Well, next month is an eclipse. So today is uh, September 22nd, and October 14th, I believe, uh, is an eclipse that uh, will be crossing the United States. It will be crossing Utah uh, 200 miles to the south uh, is where this eclipse is going to be taking place. And uh, I'd like to drive down there and uh, experience it. There was an eclipse, uh, I don't know, six years ago, five years ago, uh, that, that went over my house. And it was just a partial eclipse where I live. In order to experience the full eclipse, I would have had to have dri driven up into Idaho. And uh, I didn't do that. So I just enjoyed it at my house. Well, so the eclipse coming up next month, October 14th, is not a total eclipse. It's an annular eclipse. And it has uh, the feature of the moon not quite covering uh, the entirety of the sun. And uh, thus, you have a ring of fire, as it's described around the perimeter of the, uh, the eclipse. And that's what, uh, that's what it is. <clears throat> And so I'm going to try to go down there, drive that 200 miles, uh, set up my gear and, uh, you know, film it and and take some photographs, maybe. And in order to do that, you've got to have uh, at least an ND filter like this or uh, another kind of um, filters. Well, here's something else I picked up. Uh, these are eclipse glasses, and it has a special uh, lens that you can look at the sun through. And so, uh, for cameras, they have a similar, the same material that you can you can buy and maybe get uh, that fits over the top, and it just looks through that kind of material. And uh, you know, I wonder is. If anybody sees this video, are you going to watch the eclipse? It it it, uh, it covers quite a bit of states. I guess coming up from Texas all the way up into Oregon or Washington. I don't know. I'll I'll put up a graphic. 
that you can find online. But if you're going to look at the eclipse, let me know in the comments. And, uh, oh, the place I'm going to go to, 200 miles south from here, is a uh, obsidian beds um, down in Milford, I guess. I, I haven't studied up on it, but I, I looked through the path of the eclipse and I found some some rock counting places that I've never been before uh, the obsidian pits and uh, we're gonna go there so if you're into that don't forget to subscribe or uh, notifications or whatever like that and uh, I'll keep you posted thanks for watching bye